Hey there, I'm Michael from CodeCloud. Welcome to this lesson from our AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Course. In this video, we'll help you build a strong foundation in cloud computing with AWS. So if you wanna learn more or go deeper, check out the full course details below and let's get started. In the last video, we saw how we could interact with AWS and create and manage resources within our AWS account using the AWS console, which is nothing more than a web application, which gives us a nice GUI so that we can actually interact with AWS. And if you are somebody that likes working with GUIs, that is a perfectly fine option. However, for a lot of engineers, they like working with CLIs. And so AWS provides us a nice command line interface so that we can just type commands in our terminal to create monitor and manage all of our resources within AWS. So if you navigate to aws.amazon.com slash CLI, this is going to give you the instructions for setting up the command line interface um, for your respective operating system. And you'll see that it's actually very easy to set up. It's usually just a couple of commands and you can just copy and paste it from the directions. So once you've got the CLI installed, you can obviously read the documentation, but come on, let's be honest, nobody likes reading documentation. Let's just play around with the CLI and see if we can kind of figure our way through it. And the great part about the AWS CLI is there's always the help option. So if at any point in your command, you're kind of stuck and you don't know what to, you can just type in help and it's gonna help you out. So if I say AWS, so all of your commands are gonna start with AWS, just type in help. And it's going to print out some uh, documentation for you to read. And we could see the format of our command is gonna be AWS, you provide some sort of options and then you've got your primary command and then your sub command and then whatever extra, uh, extra parameters or flags. And here we can see a lot of the different global options that we're gonna pass in. Um, and you can look through all of those. So things like specifying what region. Uh, and so, you know, we saw with the console, you'd have to specify what region you wanna work in. Uh, with the console, uh, sorry, with the CLI, you just pass in the dash dash region flag and then the name of the region. But let's keep going down and let's figure out how to work with our different services. So if we keep going down, we can see, okay, here's the available services. And let's say we wanna work with the S3 service, which is a service that allows us to upload and save files, kind of like Dropbox or, or, or um, you know, Google Drive. And let's look for S3. Most likely it's gonna be called S3. So if I go down all the way to S3, we can see, yeah, it does have a service called S3 and it's just called S3. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna type in AWS, S3, I don't know the options or the different commands, so I can just type in the word help. And it's gonna show us uh, a description. Uh, we got some of the different path arguments, but really what I want is some examples. So let's see if we can find uh, some examples and available commands. Here are the available commands. Um, so we've got this make bucket, which I happen to know is the one that I want, which is creating a bucket for us to store files in. So I'm actually going to just type in AWS S3 MB, and then we'll type in help again. And this will show you all of the different flags and the different options, but I wanna see an example because I think that's gonna be most helpful for us. And here we can see under the example section, an example. So AWS S3, S3 colon slash slash, and then whatever you wanna name your bucket. So I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna say AWS S3 MB, S3 colon slash slash. And I'm gonna call this bucket Code Cloud CLI Demo. And let's run this command. All right, so it looks like this was successful. It didn't throw an error. It just said make bucket and then the name of the bucket. So it looks like it's successful. How do we verify that? Well, let's go to AWS S3 and then let's just do help again. And let's try to see if there's a command that might be useful to us. And so these are the different commands. Um, so mo most likely it's gonna be this ls command, which if you've ever worked with Linux, ls is just to print out all the files, but you can read through the documentation to see which command you want. Um, so I'm gonna type in AWS S3 ls, and this is going to list out all of our buckets. So we've got two buckets. I had a bucket in there already created called kk-access-point. And we've now got a bucket called codecloud-cli-demo. Uh, and so working with the CLI is very easy. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out what command you need and what flags or options that you want when running your specific command. 
And so anything you can do in the console, you can do in the CLI. And actually, I found that a lot of times, not a lot, actually kind of infrequently, but there are occasional knobs for specific services where you can only enable that knob using the CLI. It won't even allow you to do it in the console. So something to keep in mind, but anything you could do in the console, you can do in the CLI. It's just a matter of which one you prefer. But obviously, as you see, you know, it is pretty quick to be able to just type in a command um, and then have it, you know, create your resources uh, all with just a single command. So I find that working with the CLI is helpful, but, you know, a lot of us are visual and we want to be able to see, um, uh, you know, the things that we're creating uh, with a nice GUI and especially like management. Management loves visual things because they they're not very good at the, the command line. So it's really up to whichever method you guys prefer, but choose whatever you feel is most comfortable. But in reality, whichever method you choose, you can accomplish whatever you're looking to do. If you're ready to take your cloud skills to the next level, don't miss our complete AWS Cloud Practitioner certification course on CoCloud. With hands-on labs, interactive games, and all the guidance you need to ace the exam, you'll be well on your way to certification. So click the link below to join the course today.